after going through this module you shall be able to know more about ir and raman spectroscopy and you will able to know why ir and raman spectra are complicated one that is they are not simple state form learn the origin of complicated side bands identify these side bands either overtones and check their ir or raman activities identify combination or difference bands and check their ir and raman activities identify the hot bands and also know in brief about fermi resonances all these overtones hot bands combination bands they will be explained in very brief now so far we have dealt with fundamental modes of vibration for which delta nu is equal to plus minus 1 selection rule is followed if all transition are simple harmonics then all transition except fundamental transition will be forbidden that is beside fundamental other transitions will be forbidden molecular vibrations are generally enharmonic and these are completely independent of one another due to this enharmonicity the vibrational spectra of a molecule becomes complex and number of different side bands also appear in this spectrum in order to explain the spectrum properly it is necessary to have the basic idea of these side bands what is their source and how these arise the origin of these side bands can be explained with the help of symmetry vibrational modes associated with molecule in question let us take first overtones hot bands combination bands due to enharmonicity it is possible to excite two or more vibrational modes simultaneously to give rise to overtones combination bands etc that is excitation is from nu0 to nu2 nu0 to combination of nu plus nu2 or nu0 to a difference of nu1 minus nu2 or nu0 to to nu1 plus nu2 a fundamental that is forbidden in ir may possibly be allowed as an overtone or combination bands appearance of overtones combination band is determined by symmetry selection rules similar to one which we have considered earlier we have to consider the direct product and vanishing integral involving ground state symmetry and excited state symmetry that is the nu2 nu3 etc the origin of overtones hot bands combination bands is shown in given over here now transition 1 is from nu0 to nu1 it is called fundamental mode transition 2 and 3 that is nu0 to nu2 nu0 to nu3 are called first and second overtone and transition 4 and 5 that is nu1 to nu2 or nu2 to nu3 are called hot bands this means it is possible to excite two or more vibrational modes simultaneously to give rise to overtone combination bands hot bands that is excitation is from nu0 to nu2 nu0 to nu1 plus nu2 nu0 to nu1 minus nu2 or nu0 to 2 nu1 plus nu2 
or nu1 to nu2 or nu2 to nu3 etc. A fundamental vibrational mode that is forbidden in IR may be possibly be allowed as an overtone or combination band. Appearance of overtones or combination band is determined by symmetry selection rules similar to one as we have considered earlier. Now out of this, let us take overtones first. These type of bands arise from vibrational transition in which molecule absorbs two or more quanta of energy in same vibrational mode. If the fundamental band is found at new one, then first overtone, second overtone will be generally found at approximately twice new one approximately thrice the one and so on. The difference between overtone frequency and the integral multiple of fundamental frequency as a measure of n harmonicity. For first overtone, the integral multiple of fundamental is 2 into nu 1 that is 2 nu 1. The frequency for the first overtone is say approximately 2 nu 1. Therefore, the difference 2 nu 1 minus approximate to determine whether the overtone bands are allowed or not in IR, it is necessary to make the direct product of irreducible representation of the fundamentals which make up the overtone and see whether this direct product has total symmetric representation in it or not. Let us take the example of C3B point group, ammonia molecule, or you can take POCl3 or PCl3 molecule. The character table for C3B point group is given. Now in this table one, we will take A2 mode, which is IR inactive, as there is no XYZ vector as the basis for this mode. However, A2 mode is Raman active as there is a XY binary function product which forms the basis for this A2 mode. Let us find whether the first overtone of A2 mode will be IR active or not. For this, we take the direct product of A2 as shown over here in this. That is, a2 into A2. You take the characters of A2, A2 and then take the direct product. It comes out to be A2 into A2 is 1, 1, 1. For A2 into A2 character that E is 1, C3 is 1, Sigma is 1. These characters correspond to A1 irreducible representation which is totally symmetrical. Hence, a2 into A2 that is a direct product has A1 mode in it. So the first overtone of A2 mode is IR active. Let us now see the second overtone of A2 mode whether it is IR active or not. For this again we take the direct product of the type A2 into A2 into A2 that is we just combine A2 into A2 and A2. The result is shown in the table last row that is it is 1 1 minus 1 that is A2 into A2 into A2 direct product gives me the character for E is equal to 1, C3 is equal to 1 and sigma V is equal to minus 1. These are the characters for A2 mode that is this direct product does not contain totally symmetric representation in it. So it is inactive. Thus second overtone if A2 IR mode is inactive. Thus what we have seen, we have observed that the IR inactive mode has become IR active mode due to first overtone. For one dimensional representation, taking this direct product and seeing the activity straightforward. 
for two or three dimensional irreducible representation there is no straight forward procedure that can be used for degenerate vibrational mode the method is more complicated for doubly degenerate vibrational mode that is e mode following equation 1 is applied for finding the character of symmetry operations for irreducible representation corresponding to nth over tone here it is given n chi e raised to the power n within bracket r is equal to 1 by 2 within bracket chi e n minus 1 within bracket r chi e within bracket r plus chi e within bracket r raised to the power n where the various terms into this r chi e n r is the character of the nth overtone for symmetry operation r and chi e n minus 1 within bracket r is the character for n minus 1 time over 10 that is n minus 1 at overtone chi e r is the character for the fundamental for which activity of its overtone is to be determined for the first overtone n is equal to 2 for second overtone n is equal to 3 and so on chi e within bracket r raised to the power n is the character corresponding to the operation r performed n times in succession for e mode of vibration and n is equal to 2 that is first overtone that is equation 1 can be written as equation 2 and let us now apply equation 2 for finding the activity of the first overtone of e mode in c to 3v point group the second equation is chi e square within bracket r is equal to 1 by 2 chi e 1 within bracket r chi e within bracket r plus chi e r operation carried out two times let us first find chi e within bracket r square the character of the r performed two times in succession let us first find chi e r square for each symmetry operation of c 3v point group for e representation chi e e square is equal to chi e is equal to 2 that is the character of e identity in e mode here e mode and identity should not be confused with each other chi e that is c3 2 chi e c3 minus 1 is equal to minus 1 chi sigma v2 is chi e e that is 2 therefore chi e character for e operation carried out two times r operation for e 2c3 3 sigma v r 2 minus 1 2 respectively the value of chi e for operation r carried out n times for n is equal to up to 5 is summarized in the table that is this is the result is for c 3 v point group and the for operation e 2 c 3 and 3 sigma v chi e r square is 2 minus 1 2 chi e r cube is 2 2 0 chi e r 4 is 2 minus 1 2 chi e r 5 is 2 minus 1 0 that is by using this table i can go up to overtone up to 4 similarly we can have this type of tables other point group also using simplified equation 2 and taking the first overtone that is for which n value is 2 we have to find chi e square r and we now find out chi e square r and the results are listed in table for c3 v point curve first row says chi e r is 2 minus 1 0 and again chi e r 2 minus 1 0 
Therefore, chi a r into chi a r is equal to 410 that is equation 1. Now, let us find out chi a r square and this result we take from our table and the result is 2 minus 1 2. So, I am having equation 1 and 2 and my the product chi a r into chi a r plus chi a r square is 6 0 2. Add 1 and 2 and divide by 2 that is 1 by 2 chi a r into chi a r plus chi a r square the result is 3 0 1. Thus the character of the first overturn of E mode in CV 3 V point group is 3 0 1 that is for identity it is 3 for C 3 operation 0 and sigma V 1. This is a reducible representation and can be reduced to A 1 plus E irreducible representation. A 1 mode is totally symmetric. Hence, first overtone of E mode in C 3 V point group is I R active. Let us check the I R activity of second overtone of E mode in C 3 V point group. For n is equal to 3, equation can be simplified as given in equation 3 chi e r 3 times is equal to 1 by 2 chi e square r chi e within bracket r plus chi e r operation carried out 3 times. The value of chi 3 e r is summarized in table that is here chi e r is 2 minus 1 0 chi e r square or chi e 2 r is given 301 as we have obtained for the first overton earlier. And now we take chi e square r into chi e r as 601 equation 1. Now we also know chi e r r cube we can get the result from table it is 220. Therefore, chi e square r into chi e r plus chi e r cube is equal to a to 0. At 1 and 2 we are getting a to 0. Therefore, 1 by 2 chi square e r is 410 and chi e q r is 410. Thus, chi e r e is equal to 4, c 3 is equal to 1, sigma v is equal to 0. This can be reduced to a1 plus a2 plus e. Out of these components of a1 is totally symmetrical. Hence, second overton of e is also IR active mode. For triply degenerate vibrational mode T or F, the equation for calculating the characters for reducible representation is still very difficult and that part will not be discussed in this module. Now, let us go to the next section. Combination bands, oblique difference bands. Combination bands, these type of bands arise from transition to an excited state where the molecule has acquired two or more vibrational quanta of energy, which is distributed among two or more modes. If two fundamentals are at nu i and nu j, then a binary combination will generally be found at nu i plus nu j. The transition energy will be slightly less than the sum of fundamentals. Difference bands sometimes may also be detected in case of in case a molecule which is already in excited state nu m absorbs another quanta of energy nu m and loses the earlier quanta of energy nu n of energy then a difference band may be observed at nu n minus nu m such bands are rare as only few molecules exist initially in excited state except at 
high temperature. In order to check the activities of these combination or difference band, it is necessary to find symmetries of these bands and then check whether it is vibrationally active or not. Let us explain these by taking the example of tetrahedral molecule such as methane CH4. For this molecule, tau vibrations are A1 plus E plus 2 TT. Tau stretch is A1 plus T2. Tau bending is E plus T2. And spectrum is given as nu1, A1 symmetry 2900, nu2 of E symmetry 1525 cm inverse, nu3 T2 symmetry 3020 cm inverse, nu4 T2 1300 cm inverse. Let us take various combinations, oblique differences of this frequency and check the activity. If I take nu1 plus nu2, it should be 4425 cm inverse, nu1 plus nu3 5920 cm inverse, nu2 plus nu3 4545 cm inverse and twice nu3 is 6043. Like this we can take nu1 plus nu4, nu2 plus nu4, various combination we can take. And to check the activity of nu1 plus nu2 4425 centimeter band, take the direct product of irreducible representation corresponding to these frequencies. That is either of A1 or E mode. For nu1 and nu2 frequencies, reduce the reducible representation. If it is reducible, check whether there is a A1 mode or not. If A1 mode is there, then the combination band will be IR active. For example, I want to check nu1 plus nu2. Frequency 4425 cm inverse. The symmetry of nu1 is A1 and symmetry of nu2 is E. And I have to take the direct product of A1 and E and see the result of this direct product whether it contains A1 mode or not. If you are able to find A1 mode, then you can find a combination band at 4425. We can check the activity of all these bands and like this we can check up whether there is a combination band or difference band in NX. Now let us go to another section, hot bands. These bands arise when a molecule already in excited state gains one quanta of energy and excited to higher vibrational state. These are generally found when the spectrum is recorded at high temperature. These hot bands vanish when spectrum is recorded at lower temperature. That is nu1 and nu2, nu2 and nu3 transition vanish. That is as shown in the figure one, these transition will vanish. At 300 degree centigrade, the hot band correspond to nu1 to nu2 and is nearly one tenth as intense as nu0 to nu1 fundamental bonds. Now let us take the last section, Fermi resonance. In complicated molecule, it may be possible that the two vibrations have same frequency within experimental error. Such frequencies are termed as accidentally degenerate. Thus, fewer vibration bands may be observed. When these accidentally degenerate frequency belong to different symmetry spaces in the spectrum, no interaction will occur between them and frequencies are nearly superimposed. But when these accidental degenerate frequencies have the same symmetry, these will interact with each other and Fermi resonance is observed. In Fermi resonances, the lower frequency is lowered and higher frequency is raised and intensity of these are equalized 
that is the weaker borrows the energy from the stronger fermi resonance can occur between two fundamentals one fundamental and one overtone or combination band thus some extra bond may appear in the spectrum of the molecule due to fermi resonance large number of examples are available in literature for fermi resonances in this section only this will be mentioned now in this module we have listed or we have learned ir raman spectra are complicated one and these are not simple one the origin of the side bands that is the extra band which have been obtained has been explained and these side bands are due to hot bands combination bands difference bands overtones etc origin of overtones identified and their ir and raman activities have been checked for one dimensional and two dimensional representation and three dimensional representation had not been mentioned origin of combination bands difference bands has been discussed and their activities can also be checked how can activity can be checked is also explained origin of hot bands has been explained and these hot bands are very rare when the spectrum is taken at high temperature fermi resonance it is again a very important section not much has been said into this only brief part for this has been mentioned